Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about a disease called rabies and which is caused by a rabies virus and we will be discussing its life cycle also. So let's get started. Rabies disease is caused by a virus called rabies lysovirus. It's from the family Rhabdoviridae, genus is lysovirus and species is rabies lysovirus. And lysovirus here is a type species concept of where a genus name is written with species. That's why it's written with species, lysovirus. So we call it a rabies lysovirus. And its genetic material is single-stranded RNA that is negatively stranded. And it's neurotropic virus that means it infects neuro cells, what we call as neurons. And its life cycle is zoonotic that's from one animal to another and both are the hosts here. And mostly they are the mammals here. First of all, let's discuss the key points in its life cycle. First point we see here is from host to host. Being a zoonotic virus, it gets transmitted from one animal to another through biting and it's mostly in mammals. Second point we see here is mode of transmission. It's through saliva and biting behavior. We are going to discuss in later part of the video what this biting behavior is. And third point we see here is mode of replication. It is polymerase shattering, which is also going to be discussed later on in this part of video. Now let's see how this virus gets transmitted from an infected animal to a healthy animal. We have a rabbit dog here, suppose. It has got virus in its saliva and it bites a healthy person. And in this healthy person, it infects the nearby muscle cells. And from these muscle cells, there is a neuromuscular junction from where it starts to get into our neural pathway and through this neural pathway it occurs a transport path which is called as exoplasmic transport and in this exoplasmic transport we have a retrograde transport in this retrograde transport there is a transmission there is a transport of materials towards the cell body and it's mediated by some motor proteins that are from the microtubule division and after this retrograde transport, this virus gets transported to the cytoplasm of neural cell, which is called the body of neural cell. And from here, the cytoplasm, the transcription of virus takes place, its generic material and other proteins. So what is the mechanism behind retrograde axonal transport? This retrograde axonal transport is a normal transport system in neuron cells, where neuron cells send some particles outside the cell and take some particles inside the cell like proteins lipids to work properly and this retrograde axonal transport it's mediated by dynein motor protein that takes proteins inside the cell or any other cargo and see this virus has got p protein and it binds itself to the light chain of dynein motor protein so it exploits this way to get into the nervous system by this dynein protein, it takes virus particle inside the cell and inside the cell, the replication and transcription takes place. And the site in cytoplasm where replication and transcription takes place is termed as Negri body. As I have already told that the transcription of this virus is via polymerase shattering. It's a process by which a polymerase transcribes nucleotide several times, like it transcribes a, a adenine 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 several times that's polyadenines it's used in poly a tails it's often used in addition of poly a tails at the time of capping of mrna so why it's called shattering it's this polymerase the enzyme that shutters on the mrna chain to its initial position it just creates adenine base and then creates again and adding and goes to the initial position again and shutters back back and forth back and forth and creates so many adenines or other cytosines also sometimes and ultimately a stop signal is processed and mrn is released viruses are released by cell budding and viruses the new viruses are transported to the salivary glands to infect the new host this was all about the life cycle of rabies virus and why it creates a fear for water why the infected man fears the water why is this hydrophobia in the infected man 
will be discussed in the next part of the video. Thanks for watching the video. Do share this video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel.